Hi everyone, this is Catalina for your weekly fairy oracle. And according to my calendar, though I believe there are two uh, calendars going around, so some people may have other week numbers, but according to mine, it's week 52. So uh, even though we're not technically in the last week of the year, according to my calendar, we are. And so this oracle reading is for week 52, which runs from December 20th till 26th. So it is the week of Christmas that we're going towards. Now, before I start this oracle reading, I want to tell you a little bit about the next sculpture you see. Two weeks ago, I told you a little bit about the Healing Heart Angels that I make for people on a commission basis. And they, these sculptures are angels and they are attuned to the person they are for. So they often um, they, they carry symbols that are important for that person on their spiritual path. And they're also... Uh, attuned to angelic Reiki so they're wonderful to bring angelic energy into your room and since the last YouTube film where I uh, showed you one of the new uh, healing heart angels I got two lovely commissions and this angel is one of those for a very very spiritual and lovely person I've met through YouTube and who lives in Switzerland and this is her healing heart angel while it's still drying so, I think it's a beautiful one for this Christmas week, so I decided to show it to you uh, as it carries the light. And isn't this week all about the returning of the light? Now, let's see which fairy wants to go with that. And this is a bit of a surprise, as this is the fairy, the dragonfly. And the dragonfly is actually the master of illusions. Now on this card he plays around with his orbs of lights and he likes to play tricks with the elements and the laws of physics, creating strange phenomena. So who knows, maybe people who are taking pictures this Christmas will get lots of orbs, you never know. Now this fairy loves to be around crop circles as well, and orbs, and loves his pants off as the human folk get all confused by white spots on their photographs, so you never know what might happen this week. Now when he appears in the cards, it is a sure sign that somewhere in your life the works of illusion are at play. And so it's a good time to ask yourself, what am I not seeing? Um, and are there things that leave you flabbergasted and confused? Sometimes you see things in ways that no longer suit us, or old behaviours no longer work. And then the world all of a sudden seems upside down. Now is a good time to stand back, as detachment is a wonderful way to cut through illusions. And if you hear some faint giggles around dragonflies telling you to stop taking things so seriously, play with life, try something different and have a good laugh. Now for those of you who are uh, friends of this channel, who are following this channel, you may have noticed that there is a little exercise posted on the channel this week. Uh, it shows a Christmas tree, actually my Christmas tree, and it's meant for people who want to consciously let go of 2010 and get ready for 2011. I think it's quite in keeping with this card, as it helps you to stand back. Uh, not only by cutting through to things that no longer serve you, but also to be grateful for the things that are, are wonderful in your life, the blessings you've received this year. And from there you can start manifesting whatever you want to uh, bring to life in 2011. And I guess what the fairy of illusion wants to say, that it's time to cut the crap and to really, really start living your dream and living your divine blueprint. Now, isn't that a wonderful way to, you know, end this this year? Um, technically, from a calendar basis, the next reading will be New Year's reading. So this one is actually the last one of this year, and I've been thinking about actually stopping these fairy oracle readings. For two reasons. One is that there's 44 cards in the deck, so there's a lot of repetition. And the other one is that it's quite time consuming to make them. But lately, 
there have been people very grateful and very happy with the reading. So this sort of makes me doubt. So maybe you can give me your input. Those who really want me to go on with the fairy oracle reading, let me know. And another way to fix this is to start a monthly reading, which is another option. And of course, even though the cards will be repeating themselves, uh, lessons repeat themselves in life. So that really isn't a good reason to quit with this. So anyway, give me your input and um, hopefully we'll be seeing each other next year. And I wish everybody a most wonderful, blessed, warm-hearted and loving Christmas. And I wish you many blessings for 2011. May your dreams come true and may you become more and more true to yourself. All the best. Bye-bye.